Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new video. For those of you that are new here, which is probably most of you as I have around five subscribers, my name is Charlie Reed or Living Lean across most social media platforms. Last year I got in the best shape of my life, dropping 28 pounds and building a decent level of muscle mass in the process. I shared it across social media, starting around two months ago on TikTok. So far, it's got around 1.3 million views across the video, so everyone seems pretty interested. So I want to dive into detail and go through exactly how I've done it in this video. I just wanted to start this video off by saying everyone's fitness journey is different and people seem to think it's either easier for others or they cannot achieve the same results themselves. This journey is not about how you look compared to others. This journey is about being a better you, being healthier, feeling better, having more energy and building a lifestyle to be the best version of yourself. Now the final point I want to make in this speech is you do not have to be motivated every day. Everyone has their off days, everyone feels down, we're all human. Motivation swings at roundabouts and comes and goes, but what you do have to be is committed and consistent. Consistency and commitment is doing the things you said way after the moment in which you said them. However, the only way of being consistent is this being sustainable. You do not need to dedicate your entire life to the gym. You do not need to sacrifice everything you enjoy in life just to get in good shape. It's about adapting your lifestyle and making this process effortless, which is what I'm here to do for you. So my fitness journey from day one. I started lifting at around 15 years old and I had no idea what I was doing. But you don't, and you don't have to when you start. It's building blocks through years of experience, but the most important thing is that you start. Over the years, I have followed so many different programs and plans and methods. You name it, I've tried it. Whether it be eating six meals a day, whether it be fasting, whether it be heavy lifting, whether it be rep training, whether it be going to the gym six days a week or plenty of rest periods, ultra clean diets, you name it, I've tried it. And although with, the, with these unrealistic bodybuilding programs or with these crash diets, I always saw an improvement in my physique, they just was not sustainable. Over the years, I have yo-yoed so many times. These are some examples. However, what I now realize is obviously consistency is a key, but to be consistent, this needs to be sustainable and you need to be able to just adapt this methodology to your lifestyle and it's effortless. This process is not just an eight week plan. This process is to be stronger, to feel better, to be healthier and to be happier for the rest of your life. It's not to just get mega cut in eight weeks and then lose the entire progress. I neglected nutrition a lot when I first started working out and it's only been the last sort of three or four years that I've really dialed in to actually tracking calories, being aware of what I'm eating and being aware of how much energy I'm burning every day and hit also hitting a protein level. So the best transformation of my life that took 28 pounds in six months while retaining a ton of muscle mass and even building slight muscle mass on top. All I did was took my body weight in pounds times it by 12. That was my cut in calories. So I stuck to a calorie level and a protein level every day for six months, pretty much anyway. There were a few days where I was out, but that's all I stuck to. I was not restricted for what I ate. Obviously, eating healthier is better for your gut health, but it doesn't actually matter what you're consuming for weight loss as long as you are in an energy deficit. With my exercise, my sole focus was just heavy lifting and progressive overload. Progressive overload is where you are just progressing, getting stronger and getting better at your core movements rather than doing a million different exercises, a million different sets. I am going to do further videos breaking down my actual lifting days, exercises, form and etc. Lifting heavy will prioritise myofibrillar hypertrophy, which is basically means when you lift heavy weights, you make micro tears in the muscle fibres and your body overcompensates, treating it as an injury and builds them back stronger rather than loads of volume, which just increases the sarcoplasm, which is a fluid around the muscle cells. 
Again, this is all about sustainability. I have finally realised I didn't need to go to the gym six days a week. Going to the gym six days a week, not only were my muscles not fully recovered, but my central nervous system was so depleted and I lost so much potential, especially when trying progressive overload while in a deficit, which is not the easiest thing in the world. So by lifting just three days per week, I could go in, smash my sessions. Because I wasn't going so much, I couldn't wait to get in the gym again. And to be honest, I still follow this method and I still cannot wait to get in the gym every single week. Because you go in there, you make full potential of like a 45 to 60 minute session. And it doesn't feel like a chore because it's only three hours per week out of your 24 hours a day. The main point of this video was to share some tips just to give you an insight to how I did things. However, the main point I want to get across is this is a lifestyle. This is not a crash diet. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And it's all about building healthy habits and looking after your body. Your body is gonna be with you for the rest of your life, whether you like it or not. So you might as well look after it. It is one of the only things that cannot be bought. It doesn't matter how much money you have in the world, you can't walk into a shop and buy a great physique. You have to earn it and it will always give you that great sense of reward. You'll feel better, you'll be more confident and your entire life will become a lot more positive. Just due to your body, how you feel and your health. I can guarantee anyone on their deathbed, they could be worth 10 billion. They would give it all up just to have their health back. So look after yourself look after your body and just build those healthy, sustainable habits. And if you do need help in your fitness journey, I have plans available with absolutely everything I've learned over 10 years of training. I also have loads of videos across TikTok, across YouTube. I will link some in the link in the bio below on how to work out your calories and macros and all about training. Subscribe to learn more and please, please do me a solid and give this video a like because it really helps me out.